construct truth tables for the statements forms in 5 through 11. So here we have our statement form, not P or Q implies not Q. Okay, so if you notice the thing that's new in this video is this conditional right here. We have a conditional, which means there's an if and a then in this statement form. The if is not P or Q and the then is not Q. So when we construct our truth tables, we should first identify what the truth values of these two individual statements are. So first we should do not P, and then we need to identify the truth values for not Q, and then we can identify the truth values for not P or Q. So now we can bring in the conditional. So we're comparing column five with column four. And the idea is that the conditional is pretty much always true, except when the if part of the if then statement form is true, and the then part of the if then statement form is false. In every other situation, the conditional is true. So in this case, for the first row, not P or Q is true, and not Q is false. So in this case, the hypothesis is true, and the conclusion is false, which means the implication itself is false. For the second row, not P or Q is false. And right away, we can tell that the conditional is true without even looking at not Q, because the only time the conditional is false is when the if part is true and the then part is false. So when we identify that the if part is false, we can automatically assume that the conditional is true. It's vacuously true, but it's still true. The third row is false because the if part is true and the then part is false. And the conclusion is true. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.